Hello folks and welcome back to Chain Echoes. We're in an alternate timeline, reality. A little bit hard to tell how this works. This is Len here. Right, that was fun. Not really that hard. Yeah, whatever. I had some difficulty with that last puzzle, but just had to think it out. Something I need to talk to you about. You look awfully serious. It's about you and me. Len, our relationship is kind of difficult. Because we've looked on our love isn't supposed to be. Next month, you will officially become a teacher of the Leonor Order. Our relationship between maiden and teacher is forbidden. And that's why I'm going to stop my training. Are you mad? You can't. I've never been more sure of a decision. Imagining you marrying Van makes me sick to my stomach. You can't give up your dream for me. Don't worry, I'm a man of many dreams. I'll marry you and find something different. A man of many dreams, that's really good. What could those other dreams be, I wonder? Oh, a lot of everything. Maybe I'll become a bird breeder or open my own restaurant. Oh, Timothy. I oh, want Van, of course, right there overhearing it all. Okay, some drama. Timothy. Yeah, see, she's in a completely different world. New supporters have arrived. They want to speak to Len. They'll have to wait. Len is busy. Besides, isn't Len the leader? And you, over there. How about the new supply routes? We have more and more mouths to feed. That was acting as if nothing happened. Well, maybe nothing happened, and I imagine it all. Len's death, those huge creatures. Or maybe they really did turn back time. And that Gwen, what did he... Len, wake up. I got a problem here. Can you take a look? Yeah, 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 of course. You really have a knack for these things. Is that a requirement when you go and pilot? Not really. It's more like a hobby of mine. Alright, that should have solved the problem. Great, I'll take it from here again. Thank you, Aku. Thank you for supporting us. Tina saved my life. Where she goes, I follow. Well, most of the time. So be sure to thank her. I'll do that. Can't concentrate on anything. I should go ask Sir Victor about Gwen. Not a horrible idea. Okay, so now we can probably access our skills. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's learn skills. So we got. So I need to learn three more skills before we can go to the next stage. What do I want here? Tax stance is interesting. Really, I think I'd rather just get the buff from Victor. So we're not gonna worry about that. Um, probably more health points. It's not a bad idea. Tech points would be good too, but I think more health points might be good. Let's do health. Oh, we can't do any of the other characters, though. Alright, well, at least he's dead. Okay, so where, oh, where is Victor? Is he downstairs? Yeah, but which downstairs? Oh, and you got Crimson Wings Tattoo. Okay, um, let me know what design you decided on. I mean, I guess it'd just be red wings, right? I suppose. People here don't seem to have enough money for my insurance policies. I've got to wait for your clan to get more money and raise in clan rank. Right, isn't clan rank like a thing we need to... Yeah, I forget I'd do that. But yes, there's a there's a thing we can do to get more clan rank. I've already pet all the cats. Okay, so apparently at some point we get a submarine. Maybe? I don't know what the hell that one of that room is if we don't get a submarine. So it seems like later on we might. Okay, so that guy there sells insurance policies... Right, this person tells us basically where the next thing is, but... Yeah, Thousand Arc. Thousand Arc. How much money do I have right now? It'd be a little under half our money. But maybe not a horrible idea? We could totally use the... the boost. Thousand Arc. Fuck okay, it, I'm doing it. The guy stranded on an island in the center of a lake. Guy stranded on an island in the center? I don't even know what that would mean. Okay, but we gotta remember. Okay, hey, Vector. Glenn, you don't look well at all. You've been so quiet since you returned for Tormund. Well, yeah, of course. He just saw basically... I mean, I would say his love die, but I don't know if he actually loves her. 
Sir Victor, what do you know about this Gwen? He's a fellow student of mine. We both studied under Master Bartholomew, the greatest professor ever to have taught in Nysia. Was there anything special about Gwen? Hmm, you're asking questions. It's been a long time. Okay, so he's another immortal, basically, same as Victor. He was really gifted, but not very interested in class. For him, life seemed to be a game. He didn't take anything seriously. Sometimes I wondered if studying was the right path for him. But why do you want to know? Strange things are happening to me. I can hear his voice. You hear his voice? You must be imagining things. No, when we met in Foreman, he confirmed it himself. What does he tell you? Nothing special, really. Sometimes he warns me when there's danger. But other than that, he just talks in riddles. I don't know what he wants from me. I've never heard of telepathic abilities in neither humans nor ours. Gwen isn't the only problem. I don't understand so many things. I remember things from my previous life. How to read, for example. Or specific knowledge. But I have no real memories of my previous self. What I've looked like, where I lived, nothing. Maybe we should explain a few things to them. Yeah, this is with Thraz. You're right. If we explain too little, it's no good either. Come with us, Glenn. Oh, finally, we get some freaking lore dump. Yeah, let's do it. What would you like to talk to me about? There's something we need to tell you. You all look so serious. Truth be told, you and Glenn have something in common, Glenn. Glenn's memories and Glenn's knowledge of various things come from your echoes, your memories from a previous life. But you probably could have already guessed that. I already know Glenn from his previous life, and Bethraz is actually connected to you, Glenn. Do you, Len and I know each other as well? That's the thing we wanted to talk to you about. We can't tell you, but there are reasons for that. Listen carefully. The Echo is the soul of a human being that is not properly dissolved in the Maelstrom, and has instead passed on into a new body. Your personality, or more specifically, your strengths and weaknesses, your preferences and aversions, are the result of the experiences you've had in this and your previous life. Your body may look different, but you are the same person. Now, our mind is quite concerned with our well-being, so who can blame it for that? You remember how Dambert transferred the souls of plants, monsters, and humans, and in most cases they either died or went insane? It would not have happened differently if the body of an infant had been invaded with the experiences in the mind of an adult. For this reason, your brain has a defense mechanism, similar to handling trauma. It seals your memories and only reveals them slowly over a long period of time. It's usually lasts into adulthood. That's why these visions have increased recently. No, not visions. Memories. And, well, all this is why we can't tell you anything. We had another protege once. We explained too much and she died of her echo. We had opened a valve that could no longer close. We don't want to repeat the same thing with you two. Ah, oh, so it's gotta happen gradually or else die. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. These two amulets around my neck are life anchors. One is tied to Glenn and the other to you, Len. You were the real reason Bethraz and I came to Vlandis. Before we continue, have you, what have you seen in your Echo so far, Len? I remember my life on a farm. My father died in an accident. My mother became seriously ill. A group called the Order of Leonor wanted to take me in. They said I was a chosen one. When my mother eventually died, they took me with them. I lived in a palace as a special maiden training towards some goal. I remember people dressed like priests. I remember a place in the sky called Shambhala. And I remember this group fighting the Harbinger. The ultimate evil the church preaches about? He showed up in your memories? Not himself, no. But apparently the group has banished him and is preparing for the day he returns. So, you remember Shambhala? That's good. According to the rules, we should go there as soon as possible. You want me to go to the Shambhala? At once? Len, listen. But Thraz is with the Order of Lenar. You're a part of this group? At least, what's left of it. Our job is to support you. That's why they sent us here. And what about me? What about my past? I don't remember anything. Until you remember it for yourself, I can't tell you anything. So, you want us to leave for Shambhala? What about the Grand Grimoire? That would be better to discuss with the others. Alright, so let's gather everyone. There you go. You out of your mind. You plan to head for Shambhala? More so for personal reasons? First, we destroy this damn stone. That's our main objective. You've forgotten? And do you know how we're to do this? Can we be sure that we have all the information? We have to wait until Cameron regains consciousness. Honestly, if that's what Len wishes, then I'll accompany her. 
course you won't, Rob. You'll go anywhere for her. But Shambhala is dangerous. You won't get very far without any guidance, believe me. They're lucky to have the perfect guide in their group. You've been to Shambhala before, Sienna? You blabbermouth. Yeah, you get around a lot as an adventurer. That's why I know how dangerous it is there. Besides, Shambhala begins to the church. And any trespassing is punishable by death. If we get caught, we're in trouble. Such words from a thief. Then help us slip in an unnoticed, Sienna. The place we're going to is full of treasure. You may help yourself. The classic argument. You really want to go there just so then get information about her previous life? I mean, of course it's interesting, but is it worth risking your life? I'm begging you. Knowing you, you will run into every monster. Without yours truly, you will find this journey difficult. Allow me to come along as well. Yeah, that sounded quite nice. Are all princesses like this? Sheesh, alright. I'll play as the guide since we have to go wait for Cameron anyway. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thank you all very much. Shambhala is a group of Sky Islands that broke away from Hecandria. By my last count, they are northwest of Atlantis. Let's rest for today. We'll start a new journey tomorrow in the morning. Okay, got a new side quest, basically. So, who is Killian sleeping with? Oh, that's the... That's the, um... That's the church priest, right? Okay. Seems a little dangerous to go out on the roof like that, but sure, go ahead. Letter from my parents. Because I can't avoid reality forever. Yeah, go ahead and open it, Killian. We're too much once again. Nothing has changed at home. Uh, the moon looks like an owl. How long will it take until we can watch the moon together, sis? Perhaps it's better if you sleep some more. This world has nothing to offer you. But soon. Soon I'll be able to show you a different Eldra. It would have to cheat, manipulate, and use any means necessary to make this world a better one. Wait and see, sis. Wait and see. Glenn. Is he saying Glenn's his sister? Kind of what it sounded like there for a minute, but that that's weird. Okay, so can I... It says new skills. Can I actually... Okay, we can actually get the entire party of new skills now. Okay, great. Uh, let's see, what do we want for this? I mean, I think just health points? Like, Doom Resistance would be kind of nice. Ultra Moves are more efficient. Um, which I don't actually know what that means, being more efficient. Dropping us lower on the um, on the action track would actually be worse for us. I think just giving more health points. I kind of want the Magic Resistance too, but whatever. Okay, so then for you... We've already got defense up, which is good. Do water attack, poison resistance, human killer, maybe? I already got beast killer. Sure, why not? We'll go with human killer. Charging, I'm not sure, is useless, useful at all. Maybe just stat booster? Because our passive skills are limited too, right? I'm not wild about any of these passive skills, really. So yeah, let's get some, get some more health points for you too. Mine's really not going to help. Oh, maybe agility. Yeah, it's got some agility. Okay, for you, we can get your mind up again, but only that's a thing. Yeah, your mind up has already happened. Okay, what about the shielding Marzuka? HP absorb. Yeah, we don't really have an opportunity to use that very often. And we're basically just too focused on healing. Critical chance up is not going to help me. Maybe some additional health points. It's not great, but I don't know what else to do with that. For Amalia, we need something for you. It's like better defense or something. Um, seems unlikely you're going to be able to do much here. Like, Risky heals interesting, but any able to attack next turn just hurts too much. Multi shot. I mean, yeah, you don't really get to attack. So, really, just a matter of, I guess, more tech points so you can do more. Okay, what about the Thras? The light sword's interesting. Um, blind resistance, I guess, would be good. Uh, more magic for you is probably a better idea, just so you can do more damage. And for you, getting your attack up's not a bad idea. The more drops is a little bit... 
tempting. I think we'll go ahead and just get the attack up. Okay, kind of a boring level up because we're mostly just one for basic stat changes, but I think that's that's probably fine. Wait, hold on. Does the formation change there? Yeah, the formation did change. Oh no, Victor's down, down at the bottom now. Okay, whatever. That doesn't actually matter. Okay, well, for the age of races, there are quite a misconception about biomes. People tend to convert age relative to biome years. Let's say we take an arrow who can live for a thousand years and he reaches his 200th birthday. It will convert it to a 20 year old, but that's nonsense. A person with 200 years of experience did not have the same level of knowledge as a 20 year old. They give something better. There are people who think I was an infant for 10 years. I would feel sorry for my mother. She, she, she. Okay, so basically you couldn't lie against the whole elven baby thing. 50 years as a baby. I've been part of the group around Leonor for quite some time. My father was also part of it. So was my son. Okay, well, that's interesting. So I guess we go ahead... I mean, we want to find the guy in the middle of the lake. So I guess we should probably go ahead and launch the airship, right? Yes, that's K, I believe. There's a man in the middle of a lake. Okay, there's a Sky Islands over there. I appreciate the, the direction there. There's a man in the middle of a lake. There's a lake here. And I see where all the lakes are, basically. Uh, there's a lake here. The trouble is, we only have certain places we can go. We've never been to the Arcanto Archipelago, and I don't know if we're supposed to be there yet. Man in the middle of a lake. Actually, let me in Farnsport right now. We don't really want to be in Farnsport, but I'm thinking, like, maybe the teleportation zone would be a better way to do this. Let's look at the map. Teleport info. And we should be able to look around a little bit better now. So, let's go to, say... Roland Fields. You see, there's a the middle of a lake here. We can definitely get there with Sky Armors. Um, sure, if we go top right... I don't know if there is a man there, but we haven't been there since... Have we? I don't know if we have or not. We've looked around a little bit. Okay, so we want to go... I mean, really... Just fly, I think. Alright, let's go. I mean, I guess I would like to land occasionally to pick up some things. Oh, I can't pick that up. Okay, never mind. Just go. Just go. Just go. We have the grotto, too, which we can't do yet. Okay, so we want to go, like, down this way. Across the sea. Right, right. Okay, so we've got... Okay, we looked in this building before. So this building didn't have a man in it. We can land here. Then I think there's nothing we can really do. Because this is the broken mansion, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a person... I don't remember where the person was. They were here. Well, they were over here, but they're gone now. Okay, so that's not it. We've totally looked around this area already. So this is in the middle of a lake, but it's not the one I want. Okay, so if that's not the land I want, then let's go to a different land. Let's go... Um... Let's do the teleport menu. Let's go mountain range. Is there a lake there? There's no lakes in the mountains. Okay, so that's not right. Um, let's go Fjord Woods, maybe? No lake there, as far as I can tell. What about the flower fields? Flower fields kind of all water, but I wouldn't call it a lake. It's basically a swamp, so that can't be right. And the grottos don't sound right either. See, it wouldn't be Farnsport, because that's actually a city. Same with Tormund. And Warnshire. So there's a man in the middle of a lake. I'm very confused. Roland Hill just seemed like it would be the way to go. Now, there might be a smaller lake somewhere else. Like, say, down south. And I would call that more of a river than a lake. I don't see an island there, either. There's supposed to be an island park. Oh, wait a minute. There's an island way over on Seaside Village. We've never been to that island all the way down in the south. We can get there now with our armors. So, let's go here. Call our armors. Uh, we didn't fly. There we go. Okay. We fly over this way. And now we should be able to get down to that island down there. Now, unless this is a lake... 
I don't think this counts. Okay, well, at least he gets this new thing, so that's cool. Element resist to ammo. Okay, that's nice. I don't know if I'm going to be using that anytime soon, but it's nice. Other than that, I don't think that's right. We don't have another lake. There's no other lake. I'm kind of surprised it's not the middle one there, but I don't know what else it would be. Um, go ahead and fly north. I'm just really curious if there's, like... There's swamp stuff here. There is... I mean, this is an island here. Uh, can I land here? I can land, like, here. Nope. Land here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Then... Out of the armor. Now, does this count as a lake? That's less obvious. Um, there's no way to climb here, either. I can jump. How are you supposed to get over to the exit of that? Oh, we're supposed to jump into the lake. Okay, oh, you're supposed to jump into the water here. Okay, so there's got to be a water point. Back in the armor, so I can fly around a little bit and see. There's a water point here. That just lets you go there, which we've done before. Can't go down the waterfall. So, we need to jump from... To here from somewhere else. I don't see how you do that. There's no jump point. And you can't jump from the beach. That's another thing. How are we supposed to get from there? I wish I could just land there, but there's not enough room. Uh, we could land here. No, we can't land here over here, but... You can't land in the water. Um, yeah, there's got to be a way to get into there. I need to be able to go, like, I need to land, and then we can fly over to it. So, maybe land, like, now yeah, landing here is going to be a problem. Yeah, I can't land there. Um, now the brush would stop us from moving, so now it needs to be down here somewhere. Hmm. Thing is, I can't go inside. I need to land right there, but I can't do it. So I'm going to be able to jump in from somewhere. So there's another chest there that I can't get to, so I need to be able to jump over that way. And basically just land here, I think. Down the armor. Yeah, so I can jump here, and then get to the chest at least. Yeah, but I can't move further that way. Can't be done. I don't know if it was worth it just for the stack. Alright, so back up this way. Call the armors again. And fly. Yeah, see, this jump is easy. But how are you supposed to... Oh, maybe you're supposed to fall down? Except you can't... Can you get past the tree? I guess I don't remember trying to get past the tree before. Okay, let me try this. Let me try to land here. We'll get into the water. And see if I can get past the tree. Can I go behind it? Oh, you totally can! Okay, that's great. If I can go down... Okay, I can go down the waterfall. I was not expecting. Okay, that gets me over here. Okay, great. I don't think we've been here before, then. I definitely don't remember doing that. Okay, this climbs up to where? Oh, we've already done this. I don't remember doing that at all. Okay, there's a jump point here. Okay, I don't remember doing that at all, but sure. Doesn't tell me with the whole man waiting for me in the lake, though. Mm, said lake, not swamp. North is swamp, right? Let's see. There's definitely no man waiting for anybody here. Yeah, I see nothing. Yep, definitely not helpful. Okay. Yeah, Roan Fields, I think, would be the way to go, but it's not. So, let me see. Just make sure. There's no lake in the Katara Mountain Range. Arkos is perpetual, it's all water, and then the grottoes, which maybe later is an underground lake? But I really don't know if the grottoes are really ready for the grottoes. And we've leveled up a couple times since, so maybe... This is a very dangerous area, though. Yeah, see, that guy is really super powerful, and I'm really not loving the idea of attacking him without our sky armors. But this is underground, so we can't call our sky armors. 
I've already grabbed all the things here. We could try attacking this guy again, but I have a pretty good idea that's going to murder us. But if we can't get past him, then we're basically done here. Um, yeah, I mean, we saw it save, right? I think every time we teleport, it saves. Let me, uh, let me verify that. Go to the teleport menu again. Go to, like, the Hermit Isle again. We have no map of. I know it didn't save. Huh. Not for sure the autosave would help me out there. Okay, so I don't know. Well, we know where we need to go, so let's just go to the story. So the story point we need to go to is all the way over here. Not Tormund, but up here. Shambhala. At some point, we're going to be able to go back and look at a bunch of things and get some more points on the reward board, but not yet. A huge tree over there must be our goal. Let's head there and be done with this place. Okay, is there any more reason why we can't use our sky? Oh, okay, can't use our sky armors here. Good to know. Mithril ore sounds great, probably for more advanced uh, armor than we have. Okay, is there no way we're jumping over there? Can we seriously? Okay, I can jump here. I'd be really wary about jumping. Okay, see, I can't use my scar armor, so we gotta attack these birds ourselves, I guess. All right, let's go. Let's attack the birds. What kind of bird are you? You're a Toki beer, or Toki Bree. Tucci Bree? I think it's supposed to be like Toucan and something else, but I don't know what the Bree's supposed to be. Are right, you weak to air, which seems like, as birds, you shouldn't be, but that's how it goes sometimes. Um, all right, let's make sure you do less damage to me. And then definitely Wind Thrust. You're weak to it. I guess Poison Shot. Okay, smack Victor around a little bit. Okay, that was a big hit on everybody, so definitely heal everyone then. Okay. We've already did arms break, so I guess we're gonna murderize you here. Solid hit, solid hits. Uh, let's trade you out for Sienna. And make you bleed. And of course, keep focusing on air, so all the wind thrust. It's like he's throwing his beak or something. I don't know what's happening there. Kill everyone again. Alright. Then I guess Kessigiri is finishing you off. Okay. Bird's not too bad. We can deal with the bird. Definitely arms break you, so you do less damage to us. Still damage, though. Alright. Keep going the wind thrust. Alright, you're already bleeding, right? No, you're not bleeding. Okay, we'll bleed him in then. There you go. Little bit of overheat. That's okay, we got this. Okay, we should probably restrain to make sure we're good. Definitely wind thrust. Um, we could herbal bruise, but there's no status ailment to do, so... Now that's gonna take us no overheat, so defend. I guess I could trade, too. Uh, healing all will definitely help. Okay, can we steal from you? Nope, none of the steal. All right. Uh, I guess the Yuri it is then. Okay, let's trade. And, you know, we haven't actually. Oh, we can't really attack, can we? All right. I mean, I guess. I don't know if he's actually on attack mode now. I have no idea. I think that makes him heal. I don't actually know. Right, wind thrust. He's basically dead right now. Like, one more hit will do it. Yeah, one more hit will totally do it, so go for it. There we go. No overheating us. Elastic wing? Seems problematic for a bird to have an elastic wing, but sure. Um, we're really gonna just jump into the abyss, huh? Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay. So I can't help but notice the rest of the team didn't follow, but I suppose that's fair. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, hey, we got a dude. 
Oh, they just ran away. What was that? Looks like a giant owl. Got a coffee bean. One single coffee bean is not going to do it. I don't even know how much coffee you get from a single bean, but it's probably not that much. Like a single... Like you get like a scoop of coffee. It would take like at least, I don't know, 30 or 40 beans? Oh, we got monkeys to deal with. Speaking of beans. I'm sure. What the hell? We'll go ahead and tax the monkeys. We got coconuts. Or bowling balls. It's hard to tell which, really. Alright, let's arms break you guys so you don't deal too much damage. What are you guys weak to? Dark. Um, well, we could trade to Bethraz. So that's probably better anyway. We'll trade to Bethraz and do Dark Spear. Let's go ahead and poison you, because why not? Okay, smack around a little bit. That's okay. If we get some TP regen, that'll help. Okay, a couple of smacks, no big deal. Um, let's do some cross slashing on this guy. Then trade you for Sienna. We can make this guy bleed. We got two ticks on you, which means you shouldn't last for very much longer. Dark Spear will probably take you out. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Heal us up. Make this guy bleed. Let's restrain, just to be on the safe side. Okay, you're already bleeding, so have like a security. Make sure you get dark. And yeah, I should heal everyone, just to be on the safe side. He has to go. But he didn't do much. Pierce him. That might hurt. Nah, not enough to finish him off. This might finish him off here, though. Actually, Petal Storm totally will. Yeah, there you go. Okay, the monkeys are nothing to worry about. I can't cross the water, though. Do we have a map of this area? We do have a map of this area. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I'd love to jump over there, but I think we need to go all the way around. Yeah, all the way around is definitely way to go. There's also a small line. I'm really surprised I can't call my sky armor's here. We're out in the middle of the frickin' world. That's a giant chain. That's fantastic. I love it. I don't know what the chain's tied to, but it's great. Right, so there's a secret in one of those three directions. I thought I saw another one of those. Didn't I see another one of those? It would be up here. Oh, okay. Well, there we can go grab this. A viking sword? Okay. It's definitely better. Yeah, I'll take the viking sword. Sure. See, um, every time we do an upgrade like that, though, I always wonder if it makes the other upgrade that we've done just basically wasted materials. Is there any reason to upgrade if all you're going to do is get, like, a better weapon anyway? Like, it seems like you should do one or the other. You should either give me new items or we should have a uh, we should have an upgrade system. It shouldn't seem like it should be both. Alright, let's just go attack this egg here. This seems suspicious and dangerous. Oh, we just hatched immediately. Okay, so poison shot him for sure. Golden boar boar. I don't even know. Um, it's a value menu white just to be on the safe side here. What are you weak to? You weak to light. Okay, so basically anything Glenn does. We cleanse you? No, he's got magic resist, so not really. If you're magic resistant, then we can't really do anything to you. So I think you trade. I think at the very least, this is a physical attack that'll help. Okay, Glenn. Um, I'm thinking arms break this guy. I don't know if that counts as magic, though. So we can try it. Okay, it did, did break him, so he's good. That still hurt quite a bit. If I hadn't broken him, I'm not even sure we would have survived that. Alright, trade Rob out, because that's not helpful. Make this guy bleed. Okay, then I think go ahead and cross slash him. I'll drop us out of overdrive. Well, the other two will pick us back up, though. Um, armor break might not be a bad idea, though. 
Just so we do more damage to him. Okay, definitely heal us, please. We have an ultra available too, but I don't know what to do with it yet. I mean, maybe here. The thing is, I don't know if ultra counts as magic. It says non-elemental damage. Now is the perfect time with him having basically every debuff possible. Fuck it, let's go. Just do it. Just go. Summon your gun, let's go. Didn't seem to do much. Uh, definitely Kesagiri this. Okay. I guess Cross Slash. He gets to go again, though. I'm a little worried about that. He's yeah, still got a ton of debuffs on him, though. Let's go Power Pierce, I suppose. Okay. 464 Stab. Yeah, that, that hurt. That hurt. It's okay, though. We're alright. I mean, you're still bleeding, right? Yeah, you're still bleeding for five more turns, so Kesagiri. And this guy has a lot of health. Like, a lot, a lot of health. Healing all is a little dangerous here, but we have to do it. I'm going to trade you out, because she has full health and you don't. Unfortunately, you've got nothing but magic power, so I think you just go and it. He loves that melting gold ability. Um, Drunken... We'll get us. I don't know if that's gonna help us necessarily. We can try it though. Uh, definitely arms break again, so you do less damage. I think it's time to trade you out. So metal dagger, and then definitely heal. We below overdrive? No, okay, we're just at overdrive. You have no TP left. That's unfortunate. Because we have been kind of going hard here, haven't we? Okay, just defend them. At least then she takes less damage from that hit. Um, I think we need to give her some cookies or something in order to get her to... There's a snack, I think. No, sweets. There we go. Okay, have some sweets. Okay, so now she can go ahead and... Okay, he's already bleeding. I had him to steal something, but I guess we just kiss a Yuri. Okay, consume TP. So we ate her TP. That kind of sucks. I just used a snack on her, too. I could use another one on her, I guess. She is going to come up in the turn order. Okay, we've got to heal here first. Like, everyone's got to heal. Okay, good. Um, tempted to swap over to Amalia, because the TP's not great right now. Go ahead and give her some sweets. She needs it. But Thra's go ahead and summon one more weapon. And Sienna gets to go, so go ahead and extend the bleed, I guess? Now I think... Guess the earring again. Okay, you get to do Melting Gold again. As expected. Um, we'll go ahead and use a Jatsu, though that's better for Paralyze. Let's extend your bleed, because I'm pretty sure we're going to trade you out next turn anyway. Okay, so that extended it. Heal everyone. We are way overheated, though. Can we do anything about that? Restrain will drop us back down. Okay. We'll take less damage. Which still hurt like hell. Still hurt like hell. Definitely summon attack, though. Zero. Oh, because he has magic resist. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, trade you. I mean, you got a poison shot this guy, right? He's pretty close. Death. If nothing else, hopefully the poison takes him out. I right, cross slash him. Okay, there we go. We did it. We did it. We did it. Huzzah. Got a shiny belly, which is just disturbing. Wait, that felt like, like a minor boss fight. Oh, okay, there he goes. He's running away again. Fell on his back. Is he okay? That did not look pleasant. It really is an owl. How cute. One that can't fly, apparently. Okay, we grab... We should go upstairs here. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay. I thought that was the tree we were going for, but I don't know why there's a tree growing out of a building. That seems very strange. 
Uh, we can't really go anywhere else, so I guess we gotta follow him. And we could go this way. I don't know if that helps us. Okay, the floating islands are still floating around. I can't tell exactly where this is gonna go. It seems like if we follow him from the jump... Uh, we're gonna have to jump either way, so it kind of feels like a one-way trip regardless. Oh no, wait, we can't jump from here. We can't do the same jump he did. Never mind. Okay. We have to do this way then. Let's go. That's the wrong one. We jump from here. Probably to another floating island. Um, I can't jump over to that one, so we've got to... What's the other one that's floating around? Oh, it's like you go that way. We can go this way first. Okay, climb up here and grab this. Let's grab that item. Okay, the Epe probably goes to Victor, I would guess. Yep, that's right. Okay, definitely an improvement. Wow, that's a huge improvement, too, for his magic ability. That's amazing. Alright, so back down. Okay, not that one. Next one. We do need to get on that one later. For sure. Okay. Yeah, see, I can't go down until we get to the other floating island. Yeah, so we need the other one for sure. But I can't jump onto it, right? Yeah, I can't jump onto it unless it's got a slope in our way. Okay. So we had one more exit, I think, from here. And one of these, not that one. It's up here, right? Yeah, right here. Okay, does that tie into the other floating island, though? I think we need... No, we need an up and down jump point for that one. Okay, so we need to find that somewhere. Not that way. Oh, and we got a cutscene. Stop right there and go not one step further, evildoers. This land belongs to the church. You have no busy business here. Excuse us, we're a clan from Belandis, and we are looking for a sanctuary. Ruins under a great tree. By that, you surely mean the Algarve tree, which you can't possibly miss. To get there, you'll first have to... Oh, wait. Not with me. What an evil game you're playing with my modest mind, you people. That's a giant sword. Your path ends here. Sir Egil of Dorvar, Knight of the Dust Blue, will stop you this instant. Knight of the Dust Blue? You? I was once a squire under Sir Isaac of Dorvar. The Knights of the Dust Blue are the noblest warriors of all in Eldra. No one is as full of virtue, courage, and fighting prowess as they. Well then, let's find out how strong he is. After all, we ought to get past him. She, she, she. Very well, show your true colorless colors, evil vermin, and fight me. Okay, I wanted to break the episode here, but sure. Um, so. Arms break for sure, right? Like, first thing, right off the bat. Just weaken him. His weakness is earth, though. That seems problematic. So, trade you out. And at the very least, we can hit him with some daggers. I suppose we should also poison him. Okay. Whirlwind Spear. So hit us all. Solid move. And he gets to go twice? That's just bullshit. That's just bullshit. Alright, heal all. Better. Now go ahead and cross slash him here. No idea what his health is. Could be anything. I think trade you out. And now we make him bleed. Get crits, get crits. Okay, wow, that's a huge stab on Bathraz. And took Bathraz down. Wow, that's just dirty pool. Alright, we might be able to get Bathraz back here. Okay, so I'm gonna sacrifice our move here. Do an angel wing. Oh no, I think we do that after Sienna's next turn. We're gonna do that now. No, no, no. Okay, so I think we need to defend. Or pilfer. We can pilfer. Can you steal something from him? No, I can't steal anything from him. Alright, so defend then. Go ahead and restrain. Okay, so he gets poison. He does roll one spear again, which isn't actually too bad. But he does get to go twice. He does get to go twice. Alright, so now go ahead and use the angel wing. Okay, you revived. Great. Use the metal dagger. Okay, then definitely heal all. I think trade to 
our other healer and heal all again. Or just, no, just heal Bathros. Okay, that's better. He's got first aid, so he's preparing first aid. So if we shut him up, and he can't do anything. So one way to shut him up is go over here and do the rope cut. And then he has to be silent. Okay, then I guess Metal Dagger again. Don't technically need to heal right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and be strong against the wind. So he's weak against Earth, so let's do that. Okay, we don't need to heal right now, so I'm gonna trade back to Glenn. And let's go ahead and arms break him so he does less damage to us. Okay. Okay, but he shouldn't be able to do that with silence on. Alright, so maybe he doesn't work out the way I thought it was. Uh, he's got poison for one more turn. Let's poison him again. That extends it. Uh, definitely power pierce here. Good crits, good crits. Trade you out. Sienna, go ahead and make him... He's already bleeding for three turns, so I guess he's great. Good crits. One more metal dagger. Um, we don't need the heal. I could use the ultra to do regen. Yeah, I don't know how much longer this fight's gonna go, so let's go ahead and do that. Slowly ticking. I don't know what defense does. Hard to tell what defense does. Can we dispel? We might be able to dispel with Bethraz, but not with anybody else. Yeah, Rob can't do any dispels. We do Petal Storm. Now, with the defense buff, I kind of hate it, but we do have brakes on him, so we'll see if this works. Yeah, I didn't do very much damage there at all. That's too bad. Yeah, the defense is just going to stop me from doing too much. Uh, we could armor break. That might negate it a little bit. Over in spear. That's fine. We are overheating a little bit. Oh, god damn, man. Why do you get to go twice? Okay. Healed. Then we need to defend in order to lower our uh, exposure here. Okay. Better. Spear again. Which somehow overheats us. I don't get that. So we need to defend again. We need to heal. Like, it needs to happen. So overheat or not, we still need to heal. Okay, then defend again. And restrain. Just back under where we need to be. Yeah, hurt a little bit there, but we're... Oh, and then he's down. God damn. Kesagiri. At least we have a crit on him, but is that going to be enough is the question. I need to get Victor back. I think we trade. And then we raise. It's only got 25% healing. So Wolfland Spear is a bit dangerous here. Oh, what the hell, dude? Okay, so we've got we've to gotta go hard here. Make him bleed for sure. Like, she goes twice here for some reason. Oh, that might have been enough. No, it's not enough. All right. Guess the Yuri. We're overheating like crazy, but I don't know what else we're going to do. Okay, skills cost no TP. Drops us down out of overheat. The Whirlwind Spear, though, knocks the melee out. Wow. Okay, so we're basically close to death. All we can do is a regular attack. We critted, but it wasn't enough. Okay, well, good job. Good job. You took us out. Alright, so we're going to have to do that fight again, obviously. But for right now, thanks for watching. This has been Chain Deckos. I'm Peace Universe. You're Peace Universe. I'll see you guys next time.